So it's been about five days since Mila left and I thought now would be a good time to talk about to try and explain the problem I had with her last week. If you remember a few streams ago we had a bit of an argument, a bit of a falling out because apparently I said she was annoying and she heard me say that on the stream and she was really upset. So before I start talking let me just show you some clips from that stream which I took down now because I felt kind of embarrassed about it after watching it again and I felt kind of ashamed of my reaction to the situation at the time but I'll show you some clips from that stream now just so you have some context oh she's standing outside she's watching the stream I saw what you said about me, and I'm upset. What did I say? That I'm annoying. I didn't say that. So I'm not going to inconvenience you anymore, and I'm leaving tomorrow. <sighs> and I kind of want to slap you in the face, but I'm not going to do it. I didn't say you're annoying. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're fake. <sighs> You know, guys, the reason why I like Daniel is because he's honest on his channel, but actually, he's just faking it, and he's a mother And yes, I'm mad. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. What? Just wanted to say you don't have to be scared and I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I already said what I needed to say, so yeah. Can you stop the scream? Why? Because dinner is gonna be ready soon and I don't want it to be awkward downstairs. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So stop it. I will. What? I don't want to have to explain myself to your mom. So stop this stream before she's going to ask me questions. What? Don't be annoying. Just stop it. I will. Why can you not be a normal human being and just turn it off and talk? Okay, I slapped you in the face. I'm sorry. Ugh. Do you want to slap me? No. So that was the stream from last week. I think it was two streams ago. And <laughs> I feel so stupid watching it now. I feel so embarrassed that I got so annoyed over something so petty and so small and I wasn't very nice to her. I mean, she wanted me to stop streaming so we could talk and she wanted to apologize to me, but I kept refusing to turn off the stream and I kept asking her to go away. And after watching it now, I do feel kind of silly. But at the time I was really annoyed and I think maybe I get annoyed at people over silly things too easily. And maybe if you're thinking about meeting me in the future and you're worrying about this happening to you. Let me just say that I don't think there's a single person in the world that I've met who I didn't find annoying in at least one or two ways. Everyone in the world does things that annoys me. And it doesn't mean that I hate the person or hates you. It just means that I usually find at least a few things annoying about people. Usually it's because of how loud they are or because of things they do to me that I dislike. I think one of the main things I dislike people doing is when they are really loud in public. Now this may come to you as a surprise since you know I do YouTube and having attention is basically what gets me money. But in real life I don't really like drawing attention to myself so in real life I'm very quiet outside in public and I dislike it when people are loud and they shout 
at me or call for me in a really loud voice because it just draws attention to us and everyone looks up and they look at me or they look at us and they can hear what we're saying and it's kind of embarrassing and I just prefer it if the person I'm with outside in public is not really really loud if it's in an empty field or an empty supermarket where there's no people then I don't really mind because there's no one around but if we're in a confined space where there's lots of other people I don't really like bothering people so I don't really like to be loud in public spaces is what I'm trying to say and the other reason why I was so annoyed during that whole argument thing with Mila was because she kind of became physical with me when we were arguing and I don't mind it when girls are physical with me I actually feel kind of flattered that they feel um, they feel comfortable enough with me to be physical but when we're arguing and it's not in a playful setting I don't really like being physically touched because I'm not really in a playful mood during those times something my ex-wife used to do a lot when we had arguments she would get really angry and then she would put her hands around my neck or she would slap me or she would you know bonk me on the head and it wasn't really painful it was more it was just kind of annoying and I'd prefer it if um I'd prefer it if my physical boundaries were not violated when we're having some kind of argument. And I know that I it's probably my fault for making that person angry, so angry in the first place, but I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters how angry you are or what the reason is. You should never become physically aggressive with the person you're arguing with um, during an argument. You should express your anger in any other way for example you could shout or swear or maybe break something but i just think you should never touch the person you're arguing with because then that just leads to bones getting broken blood being spilt and it's just not pretty so after i finished the live stream from that day i turned it off i went down for dinner and me and mila had dinner in silence and then after dinner we had a good long talk about what just happened and we apologized to each other so everything was fine for the last few days we we made up and everything went back to normal which was great would have been greater if that whole kerfuffle never happened in the first place but since we can't go back in time and change things um that's unavoidable now i think the reason the main reason why it happened in the first place was because on that day i just felt really moody and kind of irritable and I started streaming and I started ranting and you know me I start to get a bit carried away when I start ranting and I started ranting about her which I shouldn't have and maybe I said too much and I was too harsh and when she burst into my room confronting me for saying those things maybe I should have just said sorry and I should have backed down but instead I kind of got defensive and I got annoyed more annoyed back at her and that just made everything much worse. Thank you. See whether you like it. I like it. It's the pink tea. Because last time I tried it, it was no, nice. It's the pink one. Mm. Can I have some? It tastes good. Pick this. Put it in my bottle. No. Why? No. Don't be stupid. Try it. No, I don't want it. Sip. No. You can't put it in your bottle. Why not? <sighs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, sip it. I'm going to get a show. <laughs> Are they nice? Yeah, I like it. They're so good. Tastes like strawberry. Mm. Raspberries. Hmm. Hmm.